Hi there. In this video I'm going to be installing this kitchen radio from uh, Silvercrest, which means uh, Lidl, on the underside of this thing. So, let's open, open it up and hope that uh, all goes well. If you want some info about it, uh, DAB, I think it's digital audio broadcast, so I know for a fact that this radio is digital, which is good because analog uh, won't work for a long time from now on. If you want to see in Romanian, if you are from Romania or other languages, if you are from other countries. And hopefully everybody is okay with it. And obviously it has a light on the underside, being a kitchen radio. Yes, you can use it directly on the countertop if you want to not uh, attach it to anything, but I'm going to attach it so it's out of the way. Uh, and yeah, 60 presets. Yes, it can, can have uh, uh, alarms and timers. This is the length of the cable. It has a dimmer for the display for night. Nah and digital tuning i have no idea what uh, that is but yeah that's about it and this is what we have in the box let's see how powerful the brick is as i was saying before my phone stopped recording because of space issues please give me phones with two terabytes of storage okay this is five watts so we will never consume more than that so obviously the speakers cannot be too powerful <laughs> Honestly, because the rest of the electronics are consuming power plus the speakers when it's at max So probably one watt speakers or something like that. Who knows? We will see maybe in the documentation So this is what we have inside batteries presumably the batteries are to To keep uh, time if we have a power outage to not lose its stations its time whatnot mounting hardware for the top I'm expecting comes in two variants black and silver silver with white we went with silver with white and i like this uh, paper packaging and not all plastic bags and led light for the underside and this if you are putting it directly on the countertop but uh, we are not oh and squishy stuff under this so it makes a nice noise or lack of noise when you close it that's attention to detail this is matte, not, not glossy, which is cool. So uh, let me install this thing and see how everything works. If you want to see the numbers and what they mean, the meaning is here. Let me try to give a better overall shot. These are the frequency, eh, I was close. So two times eight watts. It, uh, yeah, I wish it was zero eight watts. Anyway, let's hopefully they don't sound like a tin can, like most laptop speakers, for example, sound, but remains to be seen. Safety is whatever, we are not into that. This is how you install this thing. Do we have some kind of tray on the underside, on the other side actually of it, on the top side? Presumably, yes, we do and yeah i'm not going to stay on to this uh, in detail only if you want to watch for yourself really quickly oh come on there's lots of instructions in here and presumably this is it yep that's it so let me see how I install this thing first and then deal with the rest of it. Just wanted to show you the label in case you need some model numbers or something. And I think we have the battery area right here. Yes, we do. So let's plug in the batteries. Ooh, Mitsubishi electric batteries. And they are quite heavy. So uh, most times with batteries, the heavier they are, the higher the... Uh, energy inside the, the energy density that they can actually store so that's pretty nice 
Did I put them the right way? I think so. And this closes it without a click. Well, actually it does a click, but a, a faint one. But it locks in nicely, so that's all okay from my side. Turn it around, and yes, we do have this. And I think we can actually also hang it onto a wall, like this. Because we have that right there in the middle. So if you ever need to, yep, presumably it can also go like this, which will be kind of weird. So we are not doing that, we are doing this. Let's see. Depending on your situation, you are installing this directly onto the furniture, like I am, because I'm, I'm flush with it. Or you are using spacers. I've seen some furniture that have kind of an edge on it. If you have that, obviously you need spacers. Or if you want the spacers, you can install them on any furniture, so it doesn't matter. A trick, uh, they tell you to measure from the edges, what not. I just put some double-sided tape right here in the middle. This is not fully plugged in because it latches in place and that would be too hard to get out. But I know that it's about 3 millimeters uh, more forward than it will be at the end of this, this. And I will simply lift this thing in place exactly in the position that I want. And then pull it uh, out and this part should remain stuck and I can put my screws through the four holes into the cabinet. Base is in place, parallel to this. Took off one of the plastic protections because it was too thick to let this thing uh, stay perfectly flat when this is installed, it was touching here. So uh, let's latch it in place. When using the adapters or spacers, make sure you use the proper screws, the long ones, not the short ones. And also measure uh, to make sure the screws will not go through this. Mine is quite thick, so no chances of it uh, pulling through, uh, poking through it actually. But we are not using those. This thing is in place, honestly, looking quite okay. But there's a bit of an issue with this flap. I don't know how it was intended for it to stay up, but I need to put some double sided tape somewhere in the middle of it to glue here to keep it up because it flaps around in the breeze. That's a bit weird, honestly. Presumably the plastic was somehow made to latch the, the inside uh, and it's not latching anymore. But no, it's not clipping, it's whatever I do just falls out. Which is quite annoying. Double side tape to the rescue. Ta-da! Adhesive tape to the rescue. We are done. If you ever want to get this out, just slide it forward and it will unlock. But for me, no reason to do so. If you want to change the batteries, slide this, that's simple. We have the antenna here, for the moment I will let it like this, but I will see how to route it maybe in a zigzag in behind it, in a, in a position where it catches better reception. Uh, we have the adapter here, which is suitable only for this model. Uh, Let's cut this silver thing, because uh, we don't need it. What is written here? Eh, okay, silver crest. If you ever need anything, I will cut it off, obviously. And uh, again, we'll route the wires in the future. For now, just connect it and see if everything works. Hopefully, it works. Not using the manual, and this is quite intuitive. Obviously, this turns on the light, it's full sunlight out, so we cannot see how much it does, but presumably it does enough. But anyway, we have other lights for the countertop that we'll be installing, so and this is just uh, for the space that it's occupying to not lose any light. Uh, to enter the menu, long press, and then rotate this. And for scan settings, you press it to uh, select enter. If you want only strong stations or all of them, uh, then what do we have here? Audio setting, only if stereo is allowed or you force mono, but we have two speakers, so why not allow stereo? And in system, we can set the time. And uh, yeah, you rotate it to set whatever you want and then just press and 
go through them. Time saved. Uh, auto update I left for anything. So in theory it can update from uh, FM, DAB or anything like it is now. We left it on anything. Hopefully it will work okay. If not I will disable auto update for time. Uh, 24 hour it's okay for me that format time date yeah that's all fine and dandy to go back one level alarm no backlight uh, ah sorry went forgot which uh, factory I said no I think we are still in time and let's see what else in time auto update Auto update. No? Wasn't it here? Backlight. Oh, okay. And here, on level, it's on high, medium or low. I will leave it on high for uh, sunny days when it's only one to be able to easily read it. And then we also have night dimmer, which I set to yes. It was no, but I set it to yes. So it will dim at night, and uh, that's about it. Go back one level, what else language remains English, factory set no, software version, this is the software of it, presumably it can somehow update the software, I have no clue how, but anyway, if you are watching this video, this is the software of mine, and uh, that's about it, let's get out of here and I will try to do a scan, let's see if I press on this one, oh this is standby, and hey, standby it shows you time and date, which is quite cool honestly, turn it on and in mode tab or FM, presets, we have no presets, oh, as you can see nothing saved. Uh, I don't really know how to how to do a scan, so be back in a second. Ha! Huh, interesting mode to search. If you slowly rotate it, you can see we are increasing in small increments. If we rotate it really fast for a second, it starts to scan by itself. It found the first station, but uh, the volume is uh, low maybe in the background because I don't want uh, music uh, cancelling uh, the sound in this video oh. okay so to automatically search and save all of the stations in the preset you simply uh, I think we are let's go back to uh, stop ah just hmm, saved by mistake uh, hold this and it will do an auto scan and save everything in the presets, everything that it finds. And that is what we want. It gives them numbers and daughter crying in the background, because why not? So let it do its scan. And even with antenna like this, it uh, has really, really good reception and it seems to be finding like lots of stations, at least for my area. For your area, maybe they are much too few but for my area it's enough what it's finding with uh, a tucked in antenna and inside the house eh, and just one last thing i forgot to tell you i disabled automatic time update because one of the radio stations i think was broadcasting a completely uh, wrong time and this thing was uh, taking uh, the time from that so i disabled it and now we have uh, correct time always this thing is fully working, the news, uh, it doesn't have bass, but neither does it seem, uh, sound like a tin can, uh, like most laptops do for example, so for a kitchen radio to have some music and news in the background, this is cool, I like it, as you can see, put the cables through, through that thing, got them out right there, let me show you the back of it, something like this, camera focus, not focusing on what I want as always, anyway, it's good. So, 
that's about it for uh, this radio. I think music was about to start, so we don't want that. Hopefully in the future in my country digital radio will start to be broadcasted because I somehow bought this knowing that I will not receive digital radio because I think we have only one station uh, or maybe two in Bucharest uh, just as experiments so we don't have digital radio all over the country, no way, but it will happen and when that will come this thing will be awesome but as is on FM good enough wife loves it even the light is uh, let me show you half decent it's it's weak don't get me wrong but yeah it's there and doing something so yeah that's about it for this video i recommend you get it honestly i i good design quality seems to be good didn't see any drawbacks to it yeah and obviously this thing looks, uh, the, the display looks nicer in person than you see it on video, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Nothing that I can do about that. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Check out my other videos, many of them with uh, little products, for example. And as always, see you in the next one. Bye.